To enable the Follow Me functionality, go to the Administration panel, click the Users panel, and click on the user icon you want to edit. Click on the Follow Me tab. Check the Call Forwarding Active and Allowed options. Here you decide what kind of calls you want to be redirected. The ones calling on your extension number only, or for your ring groups or queues, if you are a member of such. Here, you can set for how long you want your SIP phone to ring before the forwarding starts. Choose Caller ID. Select either Remote, and your caller will be identified with his number or local, which means that your VoIP number will be displayed on your phone. We'll stick with the Remote option. Now, you can enable the announcement, which says, Please wait while I connect your call. You can also add your own recorded announcement. After you close the window, you will see the Enabled option. The Forward To box is where you put your number or numbers you want your callers to reach you at. If you enter more than one number, you can choose the Ring strategy from options like Ring All, Hunt, and Memory Hunt. Also set the ring time, let's say 20 seconds. And what happens if you or other numbers don't answer the phone? It's up to you really. The call can be terminated or transferred to your voicemail. Now click Submit. You'll see the Follow Me option enabled in the icon here. Please note that you can enable the Follow Me feature from the User Dashboard. Just click the Edit Settings button and choose the tab. To check out more VoIP Studio features, sign up for a free trial on VoIPstudio.com.